The only thing that's on my face is my eye makeup, moisturizer. I have applied sunscreen, but I promise it's not going to affect the review. So I'm going to apply this foundation with my fingers, my foundation brush, a sponge on my forehead. It's definitely not runny. It's more on the thick and creamy side. I find that it sets and dries extremely fast on your skin, so you don't want to take too much time spreading the product. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, hurry up! I definitely had to push some pressure on my skin in order to blend it seamlessly. The brush side is just a little bit more coverage. It was actually really easy and nice to blend with a damp sponge. Pick up excess product and make it so it's more airbrushed and flawless. By using a sponge, it actually didn't accentuate any of my dry patches. The finish of this is actually kind of natural, you know, it's a burn this way. You can see that it has a little bit of a sheen. Yeah, so the coverage is, I'd say, light to medium. I'm sure it's buildable, but to build it, I would use a sponge to minimize, you know, getting cakey. And for those of you wondering how it was like to apply this foundation over sunscreen, um, I thought it was a lot smoother than going on with bare skin with just moisturizer. It doesn't claim to be long-lasting, but I'm not going to put powder on my skin. So I can show you guys the true performance of this foundation. So to reference my skin type, I like to call my skin combination complicated. It is oily and dry in the same areas. It makes no sense. And I also like to think I'm normal because, you know, the oiliness and dryness in the same areas kind of cancel each other out, making me normal. Does that make sense? It's so freaking confusing. I know I said I wasn't going to powder my face, and I didn't, except, um, you know, when you add concealer, it, you know, it, you know, you know, you know. And I, I did end up putting like a little bit around my nose, but um, not a lot. Of, I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I won't do it again. Honestly, I would put this foundation in the I'm flawless category. I think I probably use about one and a half, but no more than that, I, I swear. Definitely not something I would wear every day just because... You know, the coverage is pretty up there and, you know, I don't need to look flawless every day. Well. I am getting a little bit shiny and I was expecting this. I wore this the other day and oh my god, I was... A grease ball born this way mm -mm, I was not born this oily the sponge application on my forehead is definitely more luminous I think the brush application side held my blush and sculpting or contouring and it's definitely the most full coverage side in my opinion From experience, I can tell you that the foundation becomes luminous and more luminous as the day goes on. If that's something you don't like, I would suggest you not to get the foundation or just use powder. Whether I wear sunscreen or no sunscreen, I still get very oily by the end of the day. Everything seems like it's coming off on this side. It's so weird.
I feel like the foundation has completely worn off around this area and over here and a little bit on my forehead and this side with application with the brush held the longest. In person it does also look a little bit cakey around this area. <laughs> 